if you can hear it in the background, this is what it sounds like when it's on. And what we're looking at right now are two water heaters in series where uh, one is just serving as a holding tank for the water that comes in from the ground and the new GE hybrid version is actually doing the heating and the thing I like about a GE hybrid is that it has um, a water, excuse me, a heat pump and it has elements on it and I do have it in hybrid mode right now and it has four different modes and it's working out pretty well I'll talk about details on that later and over here there was nothing wrong with the water heater and yeah I know I could have put a timer on it and you know all types of um, other things that people will probably talk about I, I will be experimenting with some type of uh, solar heating to go into this tank first and see how that works out but it was pretty simple to hook up uh, basically I took the cold water line and ran it into the old one or basically kept running it into the old one and instead of um, taking this hot water line here and running it into the house I took the hot water line and I ran it into the cold water line here. So, and from there, this machine does it does the work, and it takes the hot water, and it runs it right back in the house via my PEX line here. There was really um, nothing much to just um, attaching this PEX line to uh, the copper and going right back in into the home. I was actually tracking before I did the install and um, I have a few other mixed variables in there and you can basically just contact me for what I've been tracking because it's kind of uh, hard to explain but uh, the bottom line is I have seen savings already. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm picking up probably about at a minimum about six kilowatts six kilowatt hours a day and I've been measuring on 12 hour legs about five about five five days before the install and we're here in Florida right now and the weather has been quite mild for May and June um, I don't even think we've seen 95 yet and that's almost uncommon here in uh, Tallahassee. But that's it. Oh, and one other thing, um, you can see the the power is only going to this unit as as I think I said earlier this unit now is serving just as the tempering tank and this unit is the one that actually has the power that's I'm um, actually running the system or excuse me um, running the hot water and one of the other cool things on here it didn't have as many features as I thought it would have I'm trying to get you to zoom in here doesn't look like it's gonna go. Um, I kind of expected it to have something to where it will, will kind of throttle down in the middle of the day, but the only thing it does have is the vacation mode. And again, there are some a lot of sophisticated timers out there that 
we'll, we'll do more than this one but you know for a total package and I got this one on sale I think Lowe's dropped it down to about $8.99 back in November or December of 2012 but I'm just installing it now and that's it for real this time this is again um, two water heaters hooked up in series the old water heaters w working as more as a tempering tank and again I have some future ideas of running some solar solar heat in there or some type of um, other heating system that doesn't use any power from the house and I'll keep in touch